Hello, this is Chiron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please leave what does not. We have the Knight of Cups here. Okay, let's see about this Knight of Cups. Look like a journey of love or something. Let me see what's this Knight of Cups. Okay, we got the Six of Sword. Okay, we starting a journey off good. It looked like somebody's moving away from something here. Somebody found the, the answer. Somebody found the right way. Let me get something here. Somebody was smart. Oh, we got the Ace of Pentacles here. Yeah. Somebody definitely was smart. Okay. They must be going towards a new resource or a new element to their life. Something that's going to add some type of foundation or is going to add some type of value. Okay. And it's all a matter of going towards your heart, like what your heart wants. Being honest about what your heart wants. Oh, we got the two of cups. Oh my goodness. That could be a ring. The knight of cups, the six of sword, the ace of pentacles could be the ring. And then you have the two of cups here. That's a healing relationship. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute. That's beautiful. We got the king of wands here. We have a fire sign here. So a water sign and a fire sign. Let me get something here. We got temperance, energy, Sagittarius. That's a fire sign. Oh my God, somebody's getting married. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. Congratulations to somebody. I don't know if you this, um, this Sagittarius, but it's somebody here. Like someone's gonna propose. We have the world card, y'all. I'm about to like, this is the first time I can't even say throw the cards. <laughs> I'm about to lay these cards down softly because I can't even believe this. That is so beautiful. It's like somebody wants to spend their life with you. I mean, oh my God. This is for somebody out there. This is for somebody out there. And you know, another thing that's so beautiful is that the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands, I mean, the King of Wands are actually facing, okay? Male or female, female, male, whatever, okay? They're facing each other. And like somebody knows that this is something that they're going to do. And temperance energy is when two energies combined. It's alchemy. Like... It's like a perf I don't even want to go any further into this reading because I don't want no cards to mess this up. I don't want no cards to mess this up. Oh my God. It literally cannot. The way that this first line, it doesn't even matter what comes out. We have the four of pentacles here. Okay, when somebody gets financially secured or somebody is going to come into the means or are they going to have some type of security here where they can actually give this? It's like, oh my goodness. I'm so happy to have a love reading because you know that I began some crazy shit. <laughs> but oh my God, we have the emperor here. Okay. So it looked like somebody going to either get a really good job or they're going to be promoted or they're going to be the top of something. They're going to be the one in control. But this is a beautiful energy. This is like a giving emperor. Like emperors that come out on this table, they usually be rigid. They usually be mean and just controlling and just like whatever, right? But this one right here is like is trying to solidify a position so that they can marry somebody. Oh no, let me get something here. 
I cannot even believe this, how this is coming out like that. We got the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God. It's on top of the Ace of Pentacles. That's 11 Pentacles. That's a child. That's a child right there. I don't care what nobody's saying. That is a child because the Ten of Pentacles is about legacy. That's about family. That's about bloodline. That's the earth. Our body is represented by earth. Okay. And then the Ace of Pentacles above that, I feel like this is something that's going to go beyond, beyond. I'm telling you, this is so beautiful. I'm so happy for somebody. We have the Tower. Oh my God. And you know what? The Tower can go either way. But one thing about the Tower, it is still shocking. It is very much still shocking. It's not something that's going to like this union right here. This is this tower is on top of the two of cups. This union is going to be like a bomb. I hope somebody hear what I'm saying right now. This is not just anything. This is not just anything. This might be a union of like angels because I keep seeing these. I see the wings on the temperance card. I see the wings in the two of cups here. Let me get something with this King of Wands. Wow. I mean, th there's a purpose. There's a... <sighs> this is like the energy of like when these two people come together, the floor is just going to fall through. Like, I mean that in a positive way. Okay. Okay, how about I shape it a little better? The floor going to fall through and they going to be sitting there floating, flying because they got wings. Oh my God. Let me get something here with this King of Wands. We have the Four of Wands here. And you know what's so beautiful? Another thing. This Knight of Cups has Four of Pentacles. This King of Wands has Four of Wands. Is something here. This is going to be solid. This is going to be solid. Solid. Like I'm getting for life. I I really hope the right person hears this because I'm telling you, it might not resonate with everybody. But for real, I I you know to be honest with you, I wish this for everybody. I really do. I wish this for everybody. Cause this is what I'm seeing right now. We have the Sun card with the Temperance. I'm about to throw the cards for real. The sun card is like being your true self. You know, that's a very hard thing to do in this world. Well, a lot of people feel as though it is a very hard thing to do. Okay. But the sun with the temperance, it will be completely exposed. Like y'all will be in the air. Y'all will be a healing force, a force. <sighs> It's getting hot in here, okay? <laughs> Let me get something here with this world card. I just can't believe it. It's just going to be something so beautiful and undeniable. Y'all, I cannot. Do y'all know the card that just came out? The death card? The death card. And what did I just say when I saw the world card? I said, this person wants to be with you for life. I got chills. I got chills. Like, I mean, this person wants to be with you until lights out. They want to lights out with you right next to you. I know that's like too much, right? I'm going too far. But like, <laughs> that's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. That's what it's giving. And that's crazy. That's crazy, beautiful, crazy love. But it's a beautiful thing. I don't see nothing here that's damaged or fucked up or anything like that i see beauty right now let me get something here with this four of pentacles we have the seven of pentacles here okay it just definitely feels like somebody just continuing to do the work keep doing the work not quitting like somebody's not going to quit where'd that card just go okay that should be blending in yeah, we have the Ten of Wands here. 
once again, which feels like a positive energy as like the Ten of Wands can be very destructive, very burdensome. But some people know how to harness that energy. Some people are good under pressure or when it's a lot on you. It doesn't mean it's going to be forever. But I do see that somebody is going to be very, 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 very important. It's the emperor and the Ten of Wands. The emperor can definitely hold power and be okay. That's a lot of power. That's a lot of fire right there. That's a lot of drive. That's a lot of purpose. Okay. That's a lot of wands. That's a lot of, I even want to say titles. Because I know I have another deck over here where the wands, they're all different. And it showed me that, oh shit, this person has many gifts. This person has many responsibilities. It's not just, you know. Yeah, let me get something here. Somebody going to put the work in. Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Oh my God. Let me get something here with this Ten of Pentacles. I wish this for everybody. I wish it for everybody because it's a it's an energetic level. Everybody will have this. But it's an energetic level that must be reached. It must be reached. Two people must reach that together at the same time. Your path must be written. It must be all that shit. You get what I'm saying? It ain't going to be no karmic ass shit. There's a lot of people that's in love. There's a lot of people that have been in love since they were younger and they fucking stay together forever. We don't hear much about them stories because they don't be having people up on the, all up in their business. Okay, got me stuttering. Let me get something here with this Ten of Pentacles. We have the full card here. Yep. I told you that wouldn't even be forever. This is going to be, and you know, another beautiful thing. There's just too many beautiful things here. The full card is here with the Ace of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles. That's 11 Pentacles. 11, yeah, 11 Pentacles here. And then the full card is a new beginning, a new journey. I swear, I feel like somebody is going to do something big or they're going to get some type of stability and they're going to propose to somebody and it's going to be like forever. I'm telling you what I'm seeing here. I truly wish, I'm going to say it for the rest of the reading. I truly wish this to be for everybody one day. Okay, when people make it to that level, I truly wish it to be for everybody. But there's a lot of healing that goes into something like this. There's a lot of healing. I mean, when these two people come together, it's going to be a healing force. There's a lot of healing that these two people had to do on their own. A huge amount of healing because this is not something small. Let me get something here with this tower. We have the seven of wands energy here. I feel like y'all are going to be a fighting force. Like, <laughs> I don't even know why I'm seeing it like this, but like really, like the full card and then the seven of wands, I feel like y'all are going to fight together. Y'all going to fight some type of battle together. This is nothing small. Let me get something here with this four of wands. We have the ace of wands energy here. That's just, I keep saying the word beautiful because to go from the seven of wands to the ace of, ace of wands means that they can't be defeated. It means that anybody that comes and fucks with your relationship, they gonna get the boot. That's what it means. And plus this ace of wands is right underneath the four of wands and the king of wands. It's not gonna happen. Won't nobody be able to come for this. It will be an active energy around this relationship because this relationship is a healing relationship. It's a healing relationship. Let me get something here with the sun card. This is just. Whew, we got the nine of sword here. Now, that's probably the, the hardest card in this whole reading. Well, other than the tower. But still, it could be something where. Maybe a person can't stop thinking about it. Maybe somebody feels, I mean, you know, on different levels, you know, there's different levels of marriage. Okay. I'm just saying you got your earthly marriage and then you got the spiritual marriage. I don't know what it is for somebody, but I do feel like somebody's thinking about it. We don't got that many swords here. We only got that six of sword right there, which is somebody making that decision and doing the right thing and really stepping forward. And making something real in this relationship. That's the first sword right here. And then the other one is the nine of sword. Which is the six flipped over, right? But it's here with the sun and temperance energy. It feels more like an excitement. Or somebody just can't 
wait. They can't stop thinking about it. It's like mentally in there, if you understand what I'm saying. Somebody's really thinking about this and they're really, somebody could even be thinking like, is it gonna happen? We have judgment here. Let me get something here with the death card. Yes, it is gonna happen, six of cups. Six of cups. That's the deep feeling right there. That's that past life relationship. That's those connections. Like somebody doesn't even need to worry about it. Somebody don't even need to worry about it. It's even right here with the sun. The sun even picks up the energy of the nine of sword. Because it can't be no darkness. You see all this darkness in this card? There can't be no darkness with the sun there. So there won't be no more fear. I feel like somebody could be in that kind of energy right now, like in the darkness, because something might be up in the air. And yeah, like I said, we have judgment at the bottom. I don't even want to pull no more cards with this deck. Look, let me get some of these then. Because I mean, that's just... Let me see. Should I go back to that deck? I might go back to that deck. It says within a few weeks. <laughs> the situation or event in question will develop or unfold within a matter of weeks. For somebody, this is a lot sooner than you might think. My heart is racing for somebody, literally. I'm like, wow, I'm in suspense right now. It says hammock, it says rest, relax. <laughs> When the cars be fucking talking to you. Okay. It says meditate, recover, find relief. It says suspended between two things. Didn't I just say this is up in the air? And it says in limbo. It says self-actualization. There's something here. It's like the healing has to be complete on both sides before these energies come together. The healing has to be complete. This right here is in the middle of the reading. There's two of cups. It's right here in the middle with the tower and the seven of wands. These two have to be complete before they can like fight together. It's something about fighting together, fighting some type of battle, standing up to something together though, forever. That is just crazy. Let me get something here. It says roundabout community, connections, new direction. Hmm. It says many work in parts, perfect timing. Okay, so it's like an energy of somebody needing to be patient. That's the energy I'm getting here. Somebody needing to be patient. Because something is definitely going to happen. It says very likely. <laughs> At this time, the situation or outcome is likely to occur. Like someone has to relax and be patient and it says sap it says resources needed materials essence of life okay it's something about these resources like i feel like somebody is going to like step into some type of title step into some type of some type of position that's going to give them the resources to create the life that they want to have with the person that they want to have it with and that's a that's beautiful. That's because there's I'm being sad to say, but like there are some people that don't have that. So it's like whoever this is, you have that. You got to you got to know how lucky and blessed and all types of shit. It says childhood. It says eclipse. Like it feels like a long relationship here. And then it says yoga deep breath centered go within balance okay it says child healing and right on this card it says childhood childhood and then this one says child healing okay it's something here where someone needs to focus on their healing they need to focus on like just worrying about getting themselves together and, and strengthening yourself and Whatever it is, I don't know, like whatever you do in your life, you need to focus more on that and building up to whatever this is. I feel like it's coming. Well, like whatever this is, I do. I feel like it's coming. I feel like it's coming. Let me get something here. It says yarn. 
Okay, yeah, there are some things that have to be worked out here. It says there are some things that had to be worked out. Many working components, out of control, big mess, patience needed, future gains. It says work it out. It says happening now. The situation or event in question is occurring right now. Like how many of these did we get? It says within a few weeks, it says very likely. And then it says happening now. So somebody must be doing, somebody has to do the work right now. Because this must, must not have happened yet. Okay. Let me get an angel message here. Somebody's definitely going to answer the call. Somebody's definitely going to answer the call here. It says take a step back. And it says power and intention. So it's an energy of being sure of what you're doing. Being very sure of the decision that you're going to make. Okay. Taking a step back is like really evaluating what you're doing, why you're doing it. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing it for somebody. Somebody, it's like people out here doing the healing work and they're about to come together. And big things are going to happen because that's not something small. Because you don't understand how many lifetimes love has been sucked out of everybody. Removed from the world. Okay? I'm going to leave this one right here. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.